I try to to go together with she and like everything super fast. Honey, relax. Drink a coffee, or no, a coffee, no. Drink a water, or drink <laughs> something, not coffee. <laughs> Well, I was playing in a band and he showed up on one of the rehearsals. She uh, applied for a job interview in my company, so now yeah. she's my secretary. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a bar and there were, there were people and I saw you there. Tinder. Tinder. I invite you for drink some wines in the, at the beach and yeah. After. Yeah, I remember I don't drink and he <laughs> comes with a bottle of wine and think, hmm, okay. Uh, we work for the same company, so that's how we met originally. Yeah, he interviewed me. Great job. Yeah, she's my boss. Does that make things awkward at work? Well, sometimes when you argue, it's weird because we still have to talk like on the phone. He looked at me like I was a freak. <laughs> Gave me proper side eye like, who's this? But then you followed me around for the rest of the night, so I obviously made a good impression. And we just got engaged a few weeks ago. <laughs> What was your impression about people from my country before you meet me? And did they live up to that impression? The stereotype is too many manners, too polite, and you do. People are more cold a little bit, you know? Sometimes you don't understand and what I, what I didn't. Close the door very strongly and I say, wait, honey, everything good? Yeah, everything good. Snobbish about food that I had before. And you're not snobbish, but you're very particular about your food. I have like the stereotype of Portuguese girls and Portuguese men being very uptight, but Dalenda has this African side. It's like, this is Maya, and I'm in the corner like, hi. I guess my impression of American people is that kind of brash and loud, but you're not like that at all. You're, you're not like an a annoying American. <laughs> Brazilian when meat open too much for everybody look like ah Brazilian women they're like very loud and very um on to dating and do a lot of crazy things and we're very traditional as a Portuguese. I'm still loud but I'm not like crazy. Otherwise I wasn't dating. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. What is the funniest, cutest word or phrase you learned in my language? We say perdão in Portuguese, it's like perdão, and she's like Perdão. <laughs> so cute. It's then to call you gostosa. <laughs> so they all like saying like, Oi gostosa. And they just say like, okay, that's not okay to tell to everyone. That's <laughs> Portugal. Se la vi, monkiki. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. What is monkiki again? Like, it's a cute way to say my penis. Yeah, privet, cagula, paca paca. Paca paca is look like so lovely, and then it's just, it sounds like a, a nice, cute little grandma would say, you know, that's lovely. <laughs> but I know the tomato one. Paradaika. Yes, paradaika, because it has a really nice paradaika. You can make a beat there. Paradaika. Let's make a song Parad about yes. paradaika. <laughs> paradaika now. Paradaika now. All right, next question. Yeah, next one. Is there one cultural thing I do that is weird or you don't like? I don't think you do anything very French. Thanks. Men say, men do it, look like Ukrainian or Bulgarian. But Brazilian can say and don't do this, look like just blah 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 little bit. About all the Portuguese speaking countries. Which is? That they, you know, give these kisses on your cheeks each time you meet somebody that you've never met in your life. And not punctual how we punctual. Like not totally. Yeah, like 10 minutes and it's gonna be like 30 yeah. minutes or... 10 minutes, almost. it looks like one day. And every time at her house with her like mom and uh, grandma, there's like it's very, very, very fast and very loud. It's like, why are you guys arguing? She's like, we're not arguing, we're just talking. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> America has this whole customer service culture where like you could ask for anything and I get really uncomfortable like when he asks for like refunds for things or wants to send things back or and I just it makes you feel really uptight like don't ask when actually most of the time you do always get your money back and Brazilian all the time walk with Hawaiianas it look like shoes yes yeah, everywhere and, and she always say hey you go to an interview let's go be I'm simple I just jeans and simple t-shirt what's one food that you love from my country and what's food, one food that's just weird to you? I mean, you told me that you guys just do dumplings with everything in Slovakia. 
because you can eat it with it. Legumes is universal food. Every day Brazilian in the lunch eats feijão arroz. It looks like in a simple uh, restaurant you can get it in other food because don't have just this. Because for us it's very traditional. We have the rice and beans and salad. <laughs> we change the meat, but the rice and beans and salad all is the same. Muamba is like boiled ch chicken and it's in peanut butter. It's, it's our main stuff. We we eat, we eat everything with fungi. So that's the fungi, fungi is the thing. That's the weird one. Croissant. That I know. And you also told me that I'm spitting on your culture when I put butter and cheese on my croissant. Yes. But in Brazil, of course, have a lot of cool foods, amazing fruits. You, you like churrasco? I love a lot of food, yeah. Did you say one of them? Churrasco, yeah, it ah. looks like a <laughs> barbecue, Brazilian. I like açaí, ice cream açaí, with yeah, coxinha. coxinha. Yeah, it's a lot of cool food here, yeah. but Pão just... De I find it weird that the amount of stuff Americans put in everything, like... Uh, even if you have a salad, it's going to be drenched in something like oh, yeah, yeah. sweet. Big. Uh, yeah, the portion, portion sizes. sizes, that's what drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, what I don't like it is the gelatin. Remember <laughs> this? Is, oh, for me, it's super <laughs> strange. And I feel like bad because uh, mom Yasa prepared a big table with it and I need to try everything in it. Crumpets. Crumpets, yes. We that's love crumpets. The thing that you put the gravy on. No, yeah. you don't put gravy on crumpets. Oh. What are you talking about? Crumpets are the, the things that go in the toaster that have all the little holes in them and you put butter. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah in the US we just call them English muffins, obviously. Yeah, see, that's so. wrong. That's not an English muffin, that's yeah. a crumpet. Yeah, for me it'd be really strange when I first time go Brazilian uh, happy birthday, it's be a barbecue party. Oh, yeah, and uh, Brazilian do look like barbecue, not how we marinate meat, look like big table with food. No, just free it look like one piece meat after cut small and some person go and give a piece piece and they say oh when we table when we food <laughs> when we sit and eat did we ever have a cultural miscommunication like an argument or a funny misunderstanding going back to the words that we use for things like before when you've been getting ready to go out and you're and he's like should i wear pants and i'm like please wear pants and wear trousers on top of your pants because in the uk pants are underwear we use like caucasian african asian they they're like yellow brown and i don't know how many colors i mean they're people they're not like <laughs> crayons he pops up saying spravi yeah in, spravi in Slovak it's spravi yeah so but i'm was... looking to this spravi guy sending messages all the time and i'm quiet like okay this and is one spravi person. is good and then Spravi is sending like 20 messages and I'm tired of, of that annoying Spravi. And I'm telling Betty, we have to talk, who the hell is Spravi, this Spravi guy? Honey, Spravi means messages in my language. So sometimes I say, I'm going to cook dinner today and then I'm doing it and she's like, um, what do you think about putting more salt? And I say, I think, no, it's okay. And then she say, what do you think about more onions? In your head, you're always a chef in the kitchen. And I think that's a very Portuguese thing. Our gastronomy is very good. Okay, but I'm just doing noodles. We just grew up with different things, right? So I will talk about things and I'll be like, if I reference like Take That, which was the big boy band from England, and he'd be like, oh, like, were they in the 70s or something? And I'm like, how can you not know who Take That were? So if you met my parents, what is the one thing that surprised you? What for me be strange? look like uh, Mazo Miguel can walk in the home with underwear. <laughs> For me, it's really strange. Yeah. Miguelita can be in the shower naked and, and she come mom, yeah. and talk with him, look like what? Even though if they don't see each other that much, there's always this, on Sundays we need to be together, uh -huh. we need to eat together. They were just, they're just super, super, super um, American, but not just American, Italian like Italian-American. <laughs> I asked what he was like as a child. And she was like, oh, he was such a good kid. He wasn't fresh. He wasn't fresh at all. <laughs> the real caricatures, yeah. Yeah, no, but they're yeah. brilliant and we love them very much. So make sure that's clear. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We never fight. Without making up very quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this 
video is sponsored by International Cupid. International Cupid is the leading site for international dating with over 1 million members all over the world in parts like Asia, Latin America, Eastern Europe, and Africa. Uh, you can review your matches for free today, so go to the link, check it out, and I'll see you guys next week with a new video, and uh, keep on breaking down your barriers.